Hey, it's Aurelius, hope you're doing well. In this video, you're going to learn eight useful Chrome extensions to help increase your productivity. Here's the first tool. Do you know when you're watching a video, for instance, I've got one of Dr. Berg's videos open and he's explaining eight unexpected benefits of coffee. He's got everything listed. You could take a notepad out and type out or write down all of these things. However, there's an easier way using this Chrome extension. It's called Select Text, and I apologize for the really bright green color here, but here's what you do. You open up the YouTube video of the text that you want. And in this case, I've got this video open and you pause at the exact section that you want, the exact frame that is. And on the top left corner, you'll see this Select Text extension. Enable that, that'll scan and then detect the text. Now, all you need to do is select or more so highlight the text that you want. I want all of it. Let go and that's it. It's copied to your clipboard. Now open up your notepad or note taking app and then paste it in. And within an instant, I've grabbed all that text from the video to my note taking app. All right, moving on, this extension is going to allow you to highlight any text on any web page and then curate it in one place. It's called GLASP and what you can do with it is highlight anything on the web, as I mentioned, like articles or blog posts. So that way you don't have to manually copy and paste nuggets that you find in articles to your note-taking app. Everything is in one place in your GLASP account. For example, I've got one of my Medium articles open. I wanna highlight this because it's interesting. It's a quote that I like. You simply click on the highlight, whatever color you want. I'm going to select yellow. If you click on the GLASP icon right here, you can see all your highlights on this specific page. I can highlight this as well. It will show up right here under highlights and notes. And now here's where things get interesting. In your GLASP account, you'll find all your highlights. Here's the one I just highlighted. What you can do from here is copy all of the highlights with one click. We'll click once. And now in your favorite note-taking app, you can paste it right in. In my case, I use Notion and here's a new page with notes. Paste it right in and it will also include metadata and format everything as you can see with the heading, we've got the picture, metadata and the highlights. Also in your profile, you've got stats, you've got this weekly highlight streak that you can view, you've got tags and the atomic graph. So for instance, let's say you wanna organize your highlights by these certain tags. I wanna only see my tags based on productivity. I'll click that and there we go. What makes class different to other web highlighting extensions is that it's social. If you click on home, you'll find articles that other users have highlighted. You can choose one of the topics or recommended topics. There's also an explore page. So clicking on explore, you can find and see different hashtags let's say self-improvement. And for instance, let's click on this right here. Now on this page, you can see what the top highlights are, or you can go back to the original article. And if you click on the glass icon, you can see of course what you've already highlighted, or you can go to your profile and then you can see what other people have highlighted. Let's say Kazuki, open it up and here are all his highlights. So by using Glass, not only will you be able to curate anything interesting that you find on the web, you'll also be able to connect with like-minded people and broaden your knowledge about a particular subject or field. Next up, this extension is going to allow you to change the speed of YouTube videos that you watch. It's called YouTube Playback Speed Control. You probably already know that you can change the playback speed by simply going to the gear icon, clicking on playback speed, and then selecting one of the speeds right here. But what if there's a shortcut to changing the speed as opposed to going through that process? Well, that's where YouTube playback speed control comes in. At the top of any YouTube video that you're watching, you'll see the control right here. I'm going to play this video of mine and then I'll show you and demonstrate the controls. So we'll play it back. I'm going to learn eight useful digital marketing tools to help you understand your audience, gather feedback and analytics so that you can make better decisions in the future and some tools to help you build and nurture an audience and of course, make sales. Let's get started with it. That way you do not need to go right here again to play back speed control. So whenever you've got a video open, simply click on the speed that you want it at, and then you can watch faster or learn faster. Moving on, we've got another YouTube extension that will come handy. It's called Screenshot YouTube, and it does exactly what the title suggests, taking a screenshot of any frame of a YouTube video. For example, I wanna take a screenshot of this exact frame. I've paused it and you'll see the screenshot tab right here. Just click on screenshot and now it's saved it. I'll head to my downloads folder and here it is. Here's the image in high quality PNG format as you can see. 
Next up, this Chrome extension will allow you to save images in specific folders. Let me show you what I mean. Here I've got an image. Traditionally, you would simply right click, then save image as, and then that will save it to your downloads folder. But what if there's an easier way to organize your images into specific folders? Well, there is. You can simply right click, then click on save in, and then choose a specific folder. In this case, it's tech related, so I would save it in images forward slash tech. Now, when I open up my images folder, under tech, I've got that image that I just downloaded. The Chrome extension that you wanna install is called save in. If you right click again, go to save in, click on options, you can specify the folders in which you want the menu to show. So let's say you want images forward slash demo, you can do so. And now when I go and try to save, let's go click on save in, there is the new folder or directory. So rather than doing double work in terms of organizing your images into separate folders, why not do it straight away by simply hovering over and then saving it in that specific folder. All right, moving on, this Chrome extension will automatically highlight any important content on article pages. For example, here's an article of mine. You can see there are no highlights here. If I click on the auto highlight extension, it'll find any nuggets, right? As best as it can. And if you click on it again, it'll find more. So that way you can see what else is interesting or could be important. And it might actually be a great companion to the glass app that I mentioned earlier in this video. Next up, do you need help writing your content or perhaps you wanna rephrase something because you don't like how it sounds or the way that you wrote? Well, there's an extension called WordTune and here's how it works. On its editor, what you can do is simply type what you want and let's say we've got this, as you progress, you'll start to see what works and what doesn't. We can simply click on the rewrite button. That'll suggest some other phrases that we can use or sentences. And it says, because everything is out there in the real world, you'll start to see what works and what doesn't. So you could very well use that instead of what you originally wrote or select from one of the other options right here. Another use case of WordTune is when you're writing emails. For instance, let's say you wrote this email and you wanna rephrase something, let's say this one right here, simply highlight it and then you'll see the WordTune icon. Click it once and now you see the suggestions. So it's a great companion wherever you are on your browser. So instead of, are you free for lunch tomorrow? You could say, could you please let me know if you are free tomorrow for lunch or would you be available for lunch tomorrow? Same goes for another line right here. We can say something else instead of what's written right here. You can say something like, I'll be happy to meet you at a time that is convenient for you. So we'll click that once, now it's changed. Now for a change of pace. We all wanna get so much done and accomplish all our goals, but if we are gonna burn out at the end as a result, then that's not a great thing. So therefore, this is where this next app comes in. It's called Breath, or it may be Breathe, correct me if I'm wrong, but there are three H's here, but by the sound of it, by the looks of it, I think it's Breathe. What this does is it installs, of course, on your Chrome browser, and every now and then automatically, using artificial intelligence, it will remind you to take a break and breathe. You'll see an icon like this on the right side of your browser. To demonstrate when it does appear, you can click on Start, and next it will guide you on breathing. So now we can click on play and we can follow the guide. So three, two, and one. We inhale and then from there we'll hold and of course exhale. So follow this guide. Alternatively, you can go to the top and do it at any time by clicking on play next to breathing. There's also the mood diary that you can enter your mood. All it is, is this right here. How are you today? I'll just put in a smiley face right now and into your thoughts. There's also a warm up, so physical kind of warm ups that is. We'll click on play and here's a back exercise that you can do or back exercises. If you scroll, there are different types of exercises. We've got eye exercises, this other one, we've got neck exercises. So by simply following this, you'll feel better mentally, emotionally, and physically. All right, all in, those are the eight useful Chrome extensions to try today. Let me know in the comments which of these is your favorite, which one you'll be trying, installing, or are you currently using? I'd love to know. Give this video a quick thumbs up if you found value and you wanna see more like this. But in the meantime, do take care and I'll see you in the next one.